Dirt Farmer Maggie here. Do you love roasted red pepper like I do? Dirt Farmer Jay and I grow peppers in our garden every year and we're always looking for great ways to use them. I never really thought about how I could roast a pepper at home until my oldest daughter, who's a chef, was visiting one time and showed us how she roasts uh, red peppers and it is so easy to do. Especially if you have a gas stove. Now you, if you have an electric stove, you'll need to do yours on the barbecue. But what you're going to do is just set it right there up against the flame. Now you'll hear it start crackling and, and uh, the moisture will start to escape out of the shell. But what you're actually doing is roasting the pepper that's inside by charring the skin on the outside. So we're just going to keep turning this. You can see it, it isn't charred at all yet, but it's got the moisture piling up there at the top. And we're just going to let that sit, sit there for a while and get charred. Now, when the, when the pepper is all black, we're going to put it into ice water. So I'm going to take a big measuring cup here, and I'm just going to put some ice cubes in it so that I can have it all ready when the pepper is ready. So just enough to be able to submerge the pepper into the cold water. I'm going to go over here and just put some water in. And you say, why do you need ice cold water? Because when the, pe the hot pepper is submerged into this cold water, that charred skin is going to just slough off just easy as anything. You can watch that happen here in a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this and see it's starting to char there. Some of our favorite things to use roasted red, red pepper on is uh, I love to cook up zucchini in the summer, just, you know, cut up the zucchini and flash fry it in a wok with some uh, olive oil and then uh, put feta cheese and roasted red pepper on top of the zucchini. It's just delicious. Another thing that we uh, use the roasted red pepper for is uh, we'll cook a chicken breast out on the barbecue. First I marinate it in Italian dressing. That's what I always marinate chicken in is Italian dressing. And then we put it out on the barbecue and uh, put that on the top of that, some roasted red pepper strips and some feta cheese. Mmm, delicious, very delicious. You can see this is starting to char up a bit. And I'm going to finish charring this pepper and then I'm going to come back to you and show you what to do next. Okay, we're back now and uh, I've been roasting this pepper for, oh, maybe five minutes or something like that, five, seven minutes. And you can see that it's getting nice and charred. What's actually cooking off is the waxy part that's on the outside of the pepper. And you can rotate it around and see I need a little bit there, so I'm just going to put it right over that flame there. And you don't have to have every single spot on the pepper black. You want to get it pretty black, and I can, you see it's starting to get soft. The pepper on the inside is cooking. I can tell that because of how this, you know, it's just soft to squeeze. So I think that's going to be good. So we're going to go ahead and turn this off. I'm going to take this pepper and I'm going to plunge it right into that ice water and you can see that it's immediately cooling that hot pepper down and all that skin is going to release. That outside part that we've charred is going to release. See the, it's starting to flake off by itself without me really even doing much. So what I'm going to do is take this over to the sink and we're going to run some cold water on top of it and get the, the rest of this charred part off of it. So you can just reach in there and you see that that just slides off very nicely. And you, you know, some of it you can kind of scratch to get off, but if you don't get it all off, that just adds to the flavor. That little bit of charred part on there is just fine not going to hurt a thing. I'm just going to get all this and you can see this pepper is nice and pliable and soft. It's roasted on the inside mm. and if we had smell on this video you would be smelling how great this pepper already smells just getting that charred off. So we're going to step right over here and cut up this pepper. Now I don't like to waste any of it so I'm going to start and go just right around the top here uh, and throw away the least amount that I have to because I don't want to waste one delicious bite. So get some of the juice out of there and then I'm just going to 
get her open there so that I can cut out the seed cavity and get that to release and get those seeds out of there. Mmm, this is going to be some great eating on a chicken breast in just a little while for Dirt Farmer Jay and I. So I'm just going to rinse that off, get the loose pieces off, the loose seeds. And it's just a little bit warm in my hands, but certainly not too hot to handle. And then the way I like to cut up the pepper is just in nice strips. So I'm just going to cut little strips of bell pepper like that. I'm going to get rid of these, these parts here or get that part off of there. I'll just cut this up. And like I say, you can put this on pizza. You can put it on top of some sautéed zucchini chicken breast, you name it. Uh, roasted bed, bell pepper is just wonderful. And you can also put these in little bags and freeze them, just maybe half of that into a bag and freeze it. And then when you need just a little bit of roasted bell pepper, you can pull it out of the freezer. And there you have it. This is delicious. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's Dirt Farmer Maggie. Till I see you again.